Ben, let's. Uh, I'm gonna bring up the tier list. Ah, yes, yes. And this is something that I made. Ah, it might have been over a year ago. ago. Tier maker. It's just a way to rank things for fun. It's all for fun, for poops and giggles. <laughs> uh, it's not meant to, you know, oh, spread <laughs> spread any hate on any artisan. Uh, I haven't done a follow up, and I've been asked to do a follow up on where to where to rank in everyone because. Oh, interesting. Um, Kind of in talking, you know, when I, uh, when I record with Gerard and talking with other folks, it's really hard to make a bad soap nowadays, right? And right. even with like general tiers as opposed to like actual numbered ranking and whatnot, I still found it to be a very difficult task. Um, <laughs> did I get some like blowback too? Yes. Like, how oh. dare you not include this? Oh my in, god, in the tier. blowback! Yeah. <laughs> But that's any anytime you do a, a top five, bring on the thumbs down videos just because I didn't mm -hmm. include yours, even though you put the caveat. This is my list. Yeah, and it's my list. My I'd, love to, I'd love to hear your, your list, et cetera. No, no they just um, shit all over your list. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I know. So, that's, I know that's how, how dare you rank that? Oh, you yeah. change your mind and you either yeah. move something up or down? You can't change your mind. How, what's going on there? So needless to say, I have not revisited the tier list. <laughs> and today, I'm not exactly revisiting the tier list. I do want to hear, you might have shared this already in your mm -hmm. year-end show, Ben. But if you, if you wouldn't mind... Uh, I'd love to share maybe our, our top five for this past year, 2022. Okay. And the criteria is all your own, right? Because uh, I'm, I'm looking at overall. So like who, basically, who was I, which artisans did I most look forward to picking up the next soap? I can even just go and see who do I buy the most from, right? <laughs> Come with a list like right. that. But I'm, I'm looking at overall. That's how I will share my list. But you are free to, however you want to do your five, I'll put them into the S tier as you share them. Okay. Well, first we need to make an F tier for Arco, because uh, that doesn't even oh. hit the D tier. So you got to add right. whatever, like a Z tier for the Arco, uh, and then and then we get the party started. <laughs> no, okay. So are, are are we are we strictly talking about oh, no. the base? No, no. I'm so so originally this was a base thing, and I think that kind of pro proved itself to be silly to do, at least in, in right. my eyes. Right. So I'm I'm just looking at like. You know, who who are you spending your money? It's fair to say, who are you willing to spend your money on time, mm. time in, time out? Like, mm. for example, like, I I don't know. I love Barrister and Man, and, but right. I don't know for my 2022 list, I barely picked anything up because I was happy right. with what I had from them. So they right. might not be, they won't, they wouldn't be on my top five for 2022. Right. So no shade to them. Mm. It's just this year, I, I didn't, I just didn't spend money getting stuff. I think so. So to oh, qualify this list, yeah. I, I like to say that I am a DE shaver because um, I know some. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, Dave mentioned so, that we should, you know, we, we knew yeah. we knew where that was going. <laughs> so slickness <laughs> isn't a high priority for me, okay. as opposed okay. to some of the straight razor shavers where slickness is monumental, right? Mm. Like they will forego post shave and other things in favor of slickness just because you don't want to you know slice a huge <laughs> chunk out of your cheek or your lip or whatever right yeah so so to qualify this i am a de shaver so you know i i value things like you know post shave moisturizing luxurious face feel when i'm applying it um cushion things of that nature so for me um i think my two like upper tier without a doubt, would be Luther. Their stuff, because I have really sensitive skin. You can actually see my skin's kind of red today because it's dry. So I have really sensitive skin. Oh. Um, and Luther does a really good job in making sure that it's moisturized. And like after I shave, it's not like a barren wasteland <laughs> of cracks. <laughs> so <laughs> so okay. Luther is great. Their their splashes are good too. I do prefer their older splashes that he no longer makes anymore. Um some why, people felt it was a little Yeah, why, why is that? Why the old one versus oh, the current? Because it was it was it felt like it was the only splash that felt oily and not in a bad way. Because the oil or that that layer of oil ish whatever he put in there locks in the moisture and it prevents 
the moisturizing stuff from escaping your skin. So okay. when I when I used it, I felt like my skin was moisturized for longer than any other splash I've ever used before prior to that. Um, but nowadays, you know, he, he couldn't get some ingredient for it. So now his splash uh, is different. Uh, and I think it appeals to more people because it's more traditional in that it has that alcohol sting that a lot of guys really like for some reason i did hear a lot of that yeah people yeah were demanding their alcohol yeah they, they wanted that sting uh, so it has that now but it also does leave your skin quite soft um just not as long as the previous one but anyway so so luther would be my number one um for this <laughs> yep uh and then for a and e would be another one k2e for the soap the splash is okay. way too strong for me uh for my face a lot yeah. of fragrance in the a and e splashes yeah so i basically use a and e as a cologne because some of their splashes are strong enough to be a cologne <laughs> so I have, i'll like you know put it in I my head that as well. rub it on my neck on my on my wrists uh, inside my elbows and i'll smell like a and e for hours after the shape <laughs> but but the k2e base same thing as the both are base very very hydrating uh for my skin so i haven't tried his new smell yeah yeah all right so K that was k2e right to go, to go at number two spot yep um, very good very good yep. just as a quick aside have you tried vr1 the the vegan formula i have i have i still so like K2E you still more. put <laughs> okay yeah that, that's that's what i was wondering i haven't had a vegan compete with those two at the top yet they are very good and I think the vegans can easily hang out in the A tier. Uh, but I have not yet tried one that hangs out in the S tier. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So maybe Thomas's. Maybe Katie's Bubbles new one. I haven't tried that one yet. Mm. Um, so we'll see. Right. I've used a lot of Zingari. Um, and Zingari this year actually did move up purely for like how my skin reacts to shaving stuff. I'll say it's it's you know Sago is three four years old now, so oh is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah, due wow. for a for a re re imagining update, whatever you want to call it. But again, she keeps her fragrance lower than most, so sure. it's friendlier for my skin. So that's why it's there. Um, the base itself, I think, yeah, definitely needs an update. But I, I just do appreciate that whenever I using Gari, I don't have to worry about irritation or anything like that. Okay. So that's why it's there for me. I, I for I, top three, those would be my top three going okay. into 2023. Uh, Gentleman's Knot, actually, the C4, I think, is also really good. Same reasons as the other ones. And their scents are really good. So I think Gentleman's Knot is going to gonna increase in, in rank for me this year as well. Yeah, I think that's it for me for, okay. for S tier. Yeah, how about you? Sure, uh, I can leave yours here because um, I think we have, we have some similarities. Okay, so first things first, uh, I've been accused of being a shill for House of Mammoth, so I'm going to shill harder. Right ah, there. yes, lean into it. <laughs> House of Mammoth, I, I don't give an F yeah. if you know if people are like, oh, how much are they paying you? Like, I pay yeah. for all my soaps there, so I'm not getting anything for yeah. free. Uh, I got there's a reason we chose to work with them for our Lather Talk sure. soap. Sure. Um, yeah. Besides being a, a like IRL in real life friend, uh, mm -hmm. but as far as like performance, uh, interesting sense, and um, kind of having a kind of a bigger mission statement behind the brand too, mm -hmm. um, to bring awareness and um, support organizations that are trying to fight human trafficking. Yep. House of Mammoth is in my is in my top five um, to bring back. A and D. Mm -hmm. Peter's Peter's always grinding. Uh, I, I might go on the side like he 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 almost goes too fast. And so <laughs> it's like like as far as like formulations and the next release, but he's mm -hmm. always genuinely super excited about his offerings, and it's it's inf it's infectious, you know. Yeah. Just as just as a fellow hobbyist, he he has never lost that. Uh, it's become a business for him. Yes, it's and he's, passion, man. It's it's pa passion. But he's passionate about it, and it yeah. it really shows. And his business also just grown, uh, yeah. you know, internationally, opening up a, um, oh my god, is, international offices. Um, in the Philippines, Philippines. Yeah, yeah, in the Philippines, 
uh, and else and elsewhere expanding. So this is not Andy Love Fest, but it's you know other people. All all that has to say, other people see it too. Um, and and oh, I, expanding I mean, the hobby, bringing more people in. He does a absolutely. fantastic job. Absolutely. No, you're you're fine. Uh, I, I just, like, I'm I'm thinking too. So gentleman's nod is exactly what you said. Where um, picked up some releases based on recommendation. Usashi, uh, Catalana, Kosecha, Catalana, mm -hmm. uh, and and some, and some other ones. And I think the sense very intriguing. I mean, that's a big thing for me now. I'm not too worried about performance. But if you if you're making original sense in particular, mm -hmm. uh, dupes don't really excite me. Uh, mm. And that's fine. You know, it's a known quantity, so I'm not down on dupes. But as far as like what gets on my radar, it's like, oh, this person, you know, time and time again, right? It, it's mm -hmm. putting out something original and it's a banger. So that kind of automatic, automatically gets in my good graces uh, mm -hmm. as far as keeping track of what's going on. So Gentleman's Odd um, fit into that category. Uh, and they also happen to have won the Ladder Talk Award for Best Original Sense, which mm -hmm. I... It's a tough one between them and um, House of Mammoth. That would be my mm. my personal choice too. But I'm just shilling still. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't, help, <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. Uh you know, I, I did pick up a good amount. Lothar, uh, Samber, yeah. Samber, Somber was yep. a, a great release. Lonnie also excellent release. Oh well, that, that's my last choice actually. Is uh, Murphy and McNeil. I, I definitely picked up a lot of and enjoyed. I think this. <laughs> no, that's McDuff's. <laughs> That's McDuff's. <laughs> I meant to say okay, so I meant to say, Mc, meant to McDuff's, say McDuff's. Okay. <laughs> and had Murphy and McNeil in my head. It's the M's <gasps> again. No shade to Murphy and McNeil. <laughs> they make they make good stuff. But yeah, I, I meant to say McDuff's. Thank you for for seeing my error. Um, so I think just if you look at, you know, look at my what what was coming in mail calls, what I was using, I would say these five were mm -hmm. well well represented this year. Mm -hmm. Any arson that you want to explore more this year. I mean, I think Gentleman's Nod kind of falls in that category, right? You're kind of keeping an eye on um, their new stuff. Yeah, it's, Gentleman's Nod is just one of those higher tier uh, in terms of pricing uh, artisans. So it's it's definitely a need to smell before I buy, um, just simply for, for budgetary reasons, right? Like, I don't know how much is in, in the US, but in Canada, it's like well into 35, I think, for soap. Mm -hmm. um, so... It's one of those things where I know there are some like <laughs> rabid soap addicted uh, local guys <laughs> that <laughs> what? will buy no. everything. No. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to meet up with them first. I'm going to smell it and then kind of make that decision after. Uh...